Hello my beautiful Pisces, welcome to your horoscope forecast for is this new love or is it extra turns? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support and if you guys would like a live person reading with me, you can go to my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description a box below. All the information will be there in the lock, uh, box below. All right my beautiful darlings. So we're getting close to the end of the year and I want to thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate all of you guys so much. And um, thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. And we're going to be talking about new love the next. And then the next one after that, we're going to talk about extra turns. And again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Does Pisces have huge potential for new love? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look, Pisces. All right, so let's change our views here. So we the, my first card is the tower. So in the current, there is, let me just lay down all the rest of the cards here. In the current, there's a big massive shock and surprise here, okay? Um, let's just keep going here. It's going to be 10 different positions altogether, but it's going to help us bring together the bigger picture here. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so there's a big shock and surprise, um, a big event coming up here, and this is the current, so either it's happening now or it's about to happen, okay? So let's find out what that is. Does Pisces have huge potential? For new love in the next three months. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so somebody's watching you from afar. Guys, don't come at me in the comments about this. Look, this card, that's the card, okay? It's it talks about you can just see what's going on, okay? There you are. You're Pisces. There's somebody over here saying what's Pisces doing, right? What's foxes? Foxes are like, how can I get to that hen, right? Man, that hen looks good. I want to get to that hen. Okay, so there's some spying going on here to try to get your attention, all right? And we see there's going to be some kind of big event here. Okay. Does Pisces have huge potential for new love? In the next three months, show my cards I need to see, show my cards I need to see. This big event is around or something to do with a marriage, maybe a wedding. Uh, so let's see what's going on with this. This is interesting. Okay. Uh, let's use, let's use this deck today. This Pisces have huge potential for a new love the next three months. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. So uh, I see you're going to get some kind of confirmation here, spiritual confirmation. So that big event, that big, big shock and surprise, that massive change is going to be your confirmation, okay, about this person. Okay, so your blockage is possibly a relationship needs, still needs to end or you're still dealing with an ending of a relationship or somebody is with the death card energy. We have the overindulgence card. Um, this is overindulgence or it's saying the timing needs to be right. Some of you guys could be doing some traveling, okay? So some kind of traveling and enjoying yourself. You know, I would say with the overindulgence card, you know, traveling, overindulging, you know, having a good time, just enjoying yourself. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, that looks like a plane too, doesn't it? Oh, that's interesting. There's another tower card. What is going on right now? Okay, there's about to be a massive uh, change here for you guys. It's going to disrupt everything, okay? The universe is coming in saying, okay, Pisces, we're ready for a change. We're going to clear it away now. We're clearing it out. Boom, boom, boom. Get it, all right? It's all gone. All right, we're starting over. Okay, so what's your foundation here? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay, so in the foundation, there is a lot of contemplation about feelings. Like a lot of contemplation. It seems like there's very sad uh, energy around this Queen of Cups. 
So it's like, it's like I, I feel like when I look at this person, what I feel like in my intuition is somebody who's standing out looking at their yard and they have their cup of coffee or cup of tea in their hand and it's the morning time. And they're like, where is everything going, right? That's what I feel like from that card. And we have the foundation as, yep, sun card, happiness, sun, success. We see there's some infringing parties or self-doubt there. Uh, and somebody who wants to say hello again. So there is a want to recover a connection and some kind of confirmation that's going to come in here. Okay. So what happened in the past? It looks like you were able to see the bigger picture. You got a new perspective over a situation. And it was like, wow, this is a real interesting timing around this person's individual Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It was like some confusions though about how to open the door. Like, it was like, how do I get through? I'm confused. How do I get through to this person? Seems like they got their wall up. So we see that your goal is, you're like, I, I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to fix this. And I'm just still kind of in shock about it. I want to have a conversation. I want to socialize. I'm going to look at my options when it comes to love. Yep. And so it's like, you're ready to attract some people to you. Like this is like, if you think about it, um, yeah, this is very interesting. You guys are, are, are like a beautiful light at nighttime. And it's like, you're attracting, um, it's just like a beautiful flower. You know, you're attracting the bees to you. That's what I say, guys. When you want to receive, you got to be like that beautiful flower. Because remember, flowers don't chase bees. Bees chase flowers. So your goal is to be that flower. See, there you go. So we see you're getting confirmation of shock and surprise of somebody who wants to say hello again. But it's like they got their wall up. So you're like, well, you know, I'm just going to keep focusing on me and keep being in that place of that glow up. I feel like the reason why they do want to say hello is because they see the glow up. But anyway, just let's keep going. Oh, I got to cover that one up. Okay, so we got this hopeful energy coming in about loyalty and devotion, about a relationship. And we see that there's some type of opportunity offer here coming in. I see that the Ten of Wands is here showing me you are letting things weigh heavy on you in your subconscious main person. Yep. Responsibilities, burdens, things having weigh heavy on you. Okay, let's keep going. Spending some time alone, doing a lot of soul searching here uh, about family, long term. Let's make sure I check that card before I, I put it down there just in case. We get something I need to cover up. Okay, so we got the Seven of Cups energy. Uh, it looks like the influence is you got options, okay? But I feel like you're trying to hang on to a situation where you feel like it's getting away with you, okay? Like, I feel like you're being lifted up here in a situation and you're just like, okay, this is a really beautiful change here. It's something about this friend trying to make the wisest decision. I feel like this friend, you're getting some kind of spiritual confirmation about this friend. Yeah, and, it, it, and they've been around for a little while too. We see resilience. Okay, so, okay, so the hopes and fears is you're not getting a player. When when this, okay, and we're you're talking about the reuniting and having criticisms about that when it comes to having fun, okay? So you, you've dealt with somebody before that was all about the fun, the passionate en energy fun, okay? So <laughs> obviously that's a fear. Okay, so let's see as far as the answer to your question. Do you have huge potential for new love? So let's find out, yes or no, let's find out. Okay, so yes, it says nine of cups. 
and it says that you're getting a lot of spiritual signs about it actually we got the ladybug here and we see that something is about to end so you can fulfill your desires here and you're about to receive some kind of happy surprise here that's pretty stable actually hmm that's really good so confirmation of massive changes it's somebody you've known from before though okay there's some uh, barriers restrictions and we see you're glowing up here you do the the, the closed doors are now open here when it comes to a family situation long term because a sense of resilience and you're just enjoying yourself enjoying the moment and it, it moves into a stable situation okay so let's get you guys some advice Can I have some advice for my Pisces when it comes to new love for their highest best good for the best possible outcome for them? If they really want to move forward with this, what can they do with the next step that they should take? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so the next steps you should take are to see the bigger picture. A personal issue is going to be resolved. Your dreams need to have a practical plan that the tough side is about to be over. Well, we saw that, right? We're gonna get confirmation because Spirit's like, the tower card's coming out, okay? That's like the eclipse energy. The tower card's coming out. <laughs> so it's about to clear the, it's like whatever was built there, it's gone now. It's like when you, you know when you build a sandcastle on the shore and the wave comes like, that's the tower card. It's like, okay, all that stuff's gone now. Okay, so you are about to resolve some some things here but don't let pride get in the way okay the answers that you need are coming you're going to get clarity but you got to work through these fears okay because your commitment to this situation for new love may be tested because there aren't going to be a lot of options which is going to cause you a sense of confusion but remember with that seven of cups energy that woman was holding on to the kite and there was all those cups there, but she was looking at the butterfly. Keep looking at the butterfly. <laughs> okay, keep looking at the butterfly. <laughs> That's the one. Okay, so let's move this out of the way, and we're going to move into the X. Okay, so let's move this out of the way, and then we will move into the X returns read. And by the way, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, let me move this out of the way. Okay, almost there. All right, all out the way now. Okay, so does Pisces have huge potential? to reconcile with their ex-love interest, the one they're here for, the one they know about in the next three months. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so what happened in the past? We got the King of Pentacles energy. So in the past, this person actually was pretty solid and they were you had the sense that they were going to move into something long term. Like you were like, okay, this is, this is good. This is stable. Okay, there's something of value and worth here. Like it doesn't seem like they're going anywhere. Okay. But then something all of a sudden just ended. So something ended. Oh, and some of you guys, yeah, it ended all of a sudden. And we see the emperor and it was like there was some kind of restrictions or boundaries here. Some of you guys, it could have ended because of a work situation. Okay, maybe you work with this person. Uh, this could have been a boss for some of you guys. Okay, we got the Emperor card. Or for some of you, it could have been because of a father energy. Uh, it's going to be a very specific message, but it's a, it shows like a death of a father. Okay, but okay, so I know that was a very specific message. Okay, not not going to resonate with everybody, but okay, let's keep going. So, does Pisces have huge potential to reconcile with their ex-love interest in the next three months? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, so what do we got here? So in the past, there was like this sigh of relief, but then someone who wasn't being honest, 
yeah, this is an older masculine energy. This can represent the father, uncle. Yeah, they weren't being honest about something here. Huh. Okay. Like someone lacked knowledge about really what happened. Okay, so Pisces have a huge potential to reconcile with love interest in the next three months. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Here's the thing, people deal with death dif differently, you know? I just lost my brother myself. So everyone deals with death in a different way. Some people just very really just, just close off and they don't want to deal with anything, you know? So it just seems like there was some kind of death in the family or something, maybe uncle or father there, and it just, uh, they just abruptly cut things. Yeah, it was like lots of alone time, some kind of criticisms about kissing and making up. Okay, so let's see where they are in the current with you. So they feel like their hands are tied, like they're trapped in a situation because of some kind of burdens or responsibilities. And they want to take actions of love. You know, I can see this another way as well, that they may have had to take care of a father or an uncle, okay? Because I see that there is uh, a situation here where, um, you know, the mother is taking care of a child that is hurt, right, or sick here. And we see there's some responsibilities here. And we see that this person does want to take actions of love here with the Knight of Cups energy. Looks like they do want to like spend some time together and they're waiting for the right time to do that. They are thinking about it, okay? They're like the right timing. They're gonna contact you if they haven't already, because it's the current, about a relationship. And how does your person feel about you? They, they love you actually. They feel that you're their soulmate. And they do wanna defend their position, okay? They feel like they were justified. They wanna defend their position. Um, because of something to do with work and effort. They want to put work and effort into this. They, they do want to put the work and effort to defend their position. And they feel like this was a blessing and that they want to talk about this with you. And they may come forward as a friend or maybe go through a friend to have a conversation with you. They don't know how to be honest with you, main person about their confusion. Okay, so it does seem like a very layered situation with your person, that's for sure, Pisces. Okay, so how did they feel about reconciling? We see there's this relationship again, and they're waiting for their ships to come in, and they do wanna take a leadership role because there's chemistry and passion with you. There's a lot of regrets about what happened with this connection, with the main person. And they do want to heal that. Your person feels like there's like a sense of loyalty and devotion and a lot of unknowns, but they gained a lot of wisdom here. So what's your advice? Your advice, Pisces, is focus on your long-term happiness, Ten of Cups energy. It says you can explore your options with the Page of Wind, uh, a Wands energy or Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. Okay, let's cover that card. Uh, that's a very racy card there. Okay, the devil card's coming out saying, don't overthink this. <laughs> or don't lead with passion. <laughs> okay, so some, something, focus on change. When it comes to something of value or worth. If you're concerned about being used. You are about to be shocked and surprised. Actually, there we go. That's the tower card again for you guys. Uh, main person. About some changes. Or this person traveling to you. So let's see. Answering the question now. Is there a huge potential for you guys to reconcile? Let's see. All right, we got the high priestess. We got the seven of cups. Oh my goodness, the tower again? Hi, uh, that's right, Pisces. Right, Rahu is in your first house there. Hmm in your rising sign, and it causes events to happen. That's interesting. Um, so we have this unknown and still some confusions, but something will change when the tower current comes out. So maybe not be right away, but there is gonna be some massive changes coming in. There's still some regrets to work on here. 
It does look like there is a want to put attention into this, but someone has to take a leadership role around it. There is a strong temptation for this reconciliation to bring things together. Yeah. Uh, but there's something about money and finance or possibly responsibilities here. Okay, so let's talk about it. I want to kiss and make up. We see a relationship and I'm so confused. I would need to be patient to make the wisest decision because of travel money or lots of travel um, or something about change, lots of change. Okay. So there's concerns about lots of change. So it's like there's a want to do it. But it's like, there's like, is, has so much changed that I can't go back here? Will I be, like, what I saw was there was a keys and it was like, how do I unlock this door, right? So it's like, how do I, do I have the right key to unlock this door with Pisces? Okay, so we have knowledge and thoughts of friend, healing a situation and getting someone's help to take a leadership role or we see help with a, again, we see a fatherly energy there. Okay, Emperor. And then we got the Emperor card, fatherly energy, Emperor taking leadership role, trying to make a power move to take romantic gestures, but there's a lot of work and effort and we see there's very strong chemistry and passion and a lot of obsessions here, but there will be a major change, but I wanna go further with that major change. Okay, so you may get a truth here. Um, about this person's independence, financial independence. And then the Four of Pentacles shows me trying to save or wanting to hold on to something. Okay, let's see what they want to hold on to. Okay, you will receive a message, communication here, which will give you clarity, Ace of Swords. And it will be talking about love and, and communication about love. And we see that there is this sense of um, Commitment to what? Concerns that someone's not telling the truth or holding back some things with the Seven of Swords energy. Which is like, all right, I need to be patient till things come into balance. And there's still like this defeated energy. Okay, so it looks like you'll get communication and clarity from this person. It does look like they want to come forward. They want to reconcile, but there's still something going on there beneath, beneath the surface, maybe with some apparent or that they're, they're helping out. There's some responsibilities they're taking care of there. Needing to have some kind of financial independence. Okay, let's get you guys some advice. Pisces wants to reconcile with their ex love interest at this point. What steps can they take to make that happen? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. It's saying that things will come back around again. There is unlimited potential um, to hang out, socialize, or people. It's saying don't give up. Yes, there's some uh, cautious energy, boundaries, restrictions, but you'll attract what you want here to be able to say hello again. So you obviously are gonna say hello again to this person. And then it will give you the opportunity here. It looks like you'll have to end the control, okay? So you have to surrender your control um, because this person is, is uh, they, they're, they're very cautious, defensive. Like they got their wall up here. So you're gonna have to surrender to the control of this um, because of travel or possibilities here in abundance. It's saying be patient. There will be some communication there, but there is some obstacles and blockages to overcome still because of stability and stables are stuck energy. So just at this time, just try to have fun, enjoy the moment, and things will come to light for you. And definitely seeing reflect on the situation. So you're gonna have just bottom line here, just clear cut. If you really wanna move forward, this person, take it slow, okay? Um, because this person is, seems like because of, of all these things going on behind the scenes, they're, they got their guard up, uh, up and it's like when you have people like that, it's like, it's like they can, seems like there's a, that protective mode there, you know? Like some people like have a shell that they put on when they're, they're feeling vulnerable and they have a hard time trusting because I saw the Seven of Swords energy. Um, so just take it slow and you're gonna get communication, you'll get clarity and uh, just be patient. 
All right, my beautiful Pisces, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.